Hello, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how I got Dragon Age Origins Ultimate Edition to run without crashing constantly. Uh, at first I couldn't even make it through the first cutscene, and then after I got that crashing fixed, I couldn't make it more than 5-10 minutes without the game crashing. Um, so in this video I'm going to show you what I learned from doing some research, research online and using other YouTube videos. Down below I will link the two YouTube videos that did give me the fix for this. Um, in the first YouTube video, it's going to have, in their description, they're going to have this link. Uh, you're going to go to it and you're going to scroll down to the pre-patch. You're going to want to click on this link and you're also going to want to click on the NT Core. Um, when you get those downloaded, which when you click on the NT core, it'll take you to another website, and this is what you'll click on the download. Once you get that, you are going to see that they are zipped, so you have to extract them. Once they are extracted, however, you are going to need to find your file where you have the game. You're going to just drag and drop over here, replace it, it's done, then you're going to go back and you're going to run this patch. You're going to click on Dragon Origins application. It's going to say that it fixed it. And then the next step is going to be once you actually load up the game. So let me get the game loaded. You're going to hit play. It has to be on the actual loading screen or not loading screen, but home screen of the game. So once you get to this, uh, two different things you're going to do. First, go into video. Make sure textile details is on low. It doesn't matter about the other two. In my experience, texture details is what kills the game. Um, but also, if you minimize now, you're going to open Task Manager. You're going to find Dragon Age. You're going to go to Details. You're going to go to Set of affinity and instead of all it's going to be just on one of them this is something you're going to have to do every time you load the game it's going to default back but then after that you should be able to load right into the game with zero problems it does take it a second to load after all that but now as you can see the game is running i hope this video helps you and I hope you enjoy playing the game.